Hello, um, this is a quick unboxing for the Be Quiet Pure Base 500 uh, case. This is the one in grey with the side window. So let's get it open and have a look. We'll cut the seals on the top. Remember, there's a top tip here. You don't lift the case out of the box. You lift the box off the case. I've got to get the little handle bits out on the side because there's where it's been lifted. All right, so I flip flip those bits out, which you can't see, but anyway, and it just lifts straight off. Chuck that on the floor somewhere. I've got a lot of room in here at the moment. And then we'll work out which is the top and which is the bottom. All right, so this is the bottom. There's the first thing we come across, which is the user manual, which we'll look at in a bit. And there's a the slide out dust filter. So let's get it back up the right way now. And there we are. Very reflective. <laughs> and that's the top. Look. So the top has got a Magnetic dust filter. Well, it's not actually a filter. It's not a noise. It's a little noise dampener, really. So that's where you can mount your top radiator. So there is an air intake there. And obviously, if you've got a rad on the top, I think you're meant to take that off because that's that's going to block the airflow, isn't it? Like that. And let's have a look at the front bit here. Now, what we've got is a couple of USB threes. That's got a mark on it. Bit annoying. Standard button. Front mounted audio. That's the front there. So obviously you can't put a CD-ROM drive in it. And it says be quiet on the bottom. There's a bit of film covering that up. But let's get this side panel off. Oh, I'm glad it's thumb tight. It's so nice when you have a thumb tight screws when you first get it so that you can just take things apart without having to reach for a screwdriver. Let's see how this comes off. I think I should be able to flip it off. Yeah, so that's the the glass side panel, which is um nice bit of glass. I'll just put that down there out the way. And there are some little raised out grommety bits there which it um, sort of sits onto, so it's not, you know, balancing. I'm going to take this side panel out. They're meant to be captive screws there. And they sort of are, but one just came off in my hand. So they're sort of captive-y, but not that much. So I'll just put that one back in. Yeah, the hole for it's just a little bit too big. But that doesn't matter. It's just a small thing. I'll pop that down there as well. So that's good. So if I spin it round now, more goodies. Cable tie. And that's that's a big dust filter. So, ah, right, okay. So you, if you put a top mounted rad, you take that off. And then I guess you put that on. So they give you a nice one that looks pretty, but they also give you one if you've got a rad on the top. So, um, yeah, quite liking that. That's um, quite thoughtful of them. So I'll just put that there with the manual. These are already, they've cable tied all of these still, look. And there's actually some cable ties already put in. I'll give you a close-up of those so you can see them. So it's, it's already got quite a lot of stuff already rooted, which is kind of cute. 
There's also um, a fan there. It's uh, only got three connectors, so it's not PWM. And that's the um, motherboard connectors there. So there's only power and the LED. So you don't you don't get a reset switch. Hmm, interesting. Here's the accessory box, which we'll look at in a second. There's something. There's a plastic cover there, which is the be quiet bit, which you can't see, so I'll just move it. So it says, see where it says be quiet? That pops out. So um, those are SSD mounts. So the be quiet bit covers up where the cables are. So that's kind of cool as well. So I'm kind of liking that. So there's a lot of thought going into this. The motherboard risers, if you look at it, they're all fitted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you've got nine already fitted. And you've also got another bit at the back here where you can mount some um, SSDs. And then down the bottom here, because there's the HD audio and the USB 3, there's a caddy there with captive screws, which are a bit captive -y. There's a three and a half inch caddy. And you've got. Uh, there's a pre-fitted fan at the front and one at the back and it looks like it's uh that's quite it's a pure wings two it's quite big i'll just measure how big they are just for you know completeness really more than anything else so screw to screw so it's under so they're 140 mil fans that's 140 mil. The one at the back is uh, also 140, I think. So you get 240 mil pure wings fans. The power supply sits in a cage below and things pop out the bottom. So um, all in all, and it's quite a sturdy, it's only rocking because it's on the cable there. It's quite a sturdy little case no rock to it so anyway accessories let's see what we get in the accessories box once you've worked out how to open it so I'll click that and do that so they include a couple of cable ties in case you need them I always like this that's really that's uh, be quiet so thoughtful that is another little extra that is really nice to see if you're actually building it for the first time that's just um, a five mil hex adapter so that when you're unscrewing or screwing in the um, other board risers you don't need to have a five mil socket you could just use the adapter that can so I do like that is really it's it's it's, it's it's just nice, isn't it? It's just thoughtful. And there, there's <laughs> little sweets. There's individual screws there, and they've sorted them. So you've got some big chunky ones. Those are the hard drive ones because they've got. If you look at the actual caddy, there's rubber grommets on it there. See the rubber grommets? So these screws go in, and they're not. The thread isn't. 100% along them so there's a bit for the grommet as well so it'll screw in tightly and then sit in the rubber to reduce vibration so those are specifically for the hard drive these ones are your standard thread ones so those are going to be for the motherboard probably for the motherboard to screw in um, and then you've got another one there which is for your SSDs because that's the finer thread sometimes you get that finer thread on the motherboard risers Remember those ones in there? Sometimes you don't, but either way, you've got quite a nice little selection of individually wrapped screws that are sort of pre-sorted for you, so that's kind of cool. Um, yes, so um, all in all, that's rather this is quite nice. And ah, oh, ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, am I being too enthusiastic? Maybe I am. But I can't help myself really. The back is particularly interesting because you've got oh, bash the wall. You've got the expansion ports at the back but they've already got the screws put in because <laughs> most cases don't come with the screws they come you know, everything everything comes in one massive bag of screws 
um, but these are all pre-fitted and there's also the um, mount for the the power supply has got a little frame as well so you can mount that frame on before you slide it in so um, yeah that's really good isn't it that's really thoughtful that's thoughtfully built so yeah if you have any questions about this um, or any comments then just stick them in the comments oh wait I said we look at the manual and we haven't so here we are Let's see how useful it is if you're a first-time builder looking to get this case. You get a breakdown, sort of a breakdown of what's what. So when you pull things, you know they, you know whether they're meant to come apart or not. It, it, you know, it looks like it describes everything. There's a nice little thing about where you can put rads, and also where you put fans. So that's quite nice to see. To save you trying to work it out. Quite a visual manual. There's how to remove the front panel with the dust filter in it. So that's, and it's got this lovely grey and orange sort of theme running through it. And there's how you take the um, SSD panel off. SSD's at the back. So that, I would say that's pretty thorough. Um, and they've done it rather cleverly. There isn't very much, there's hardly any, there's no words in there. It's all done visually. So I'm kind of a big fan of that as well. So, um, yeah, so loving that too. It even tells you how to route the cable, which might be a bit unnecessary, but anyway. Uh, yeah, so, as I was saying, <laughs> any, um, any questions, any comments, stick them in the comments. Liking and subscribing is appreciated, obviously. And um, as ever, thanks for watching.